Hi, um, so what we're looking at right now is the Lexia dashboard. Um, Lexia is a program used for reading. Students use it daily. Um, so there's a lot of different things to look at the dashboard for when you are using it. Um, the first thing I probably look at for is in terms of long-term planning. I look at this bubble here. Um, what you want is to see mostly green in this bubble. Um, that means the students are predicted to meet um, their end of the year goal by the end of the year. So when you're planning for this towards the beginning of the year and this is not so much green, you're really going to want to look at those kids and see how can you get them to green. Um, so if you look on the side here, um, this is where every student's name is. If you click on them, you can make more of a long-term plan for them in regards to getting them to that green. This chart will show if their, their projection and where they've been moving since the beginning of the year. Um, if you look down below here, you're going to want to pay attention to these units. The units um, are kind of like the parts they need. The, if they pass certain levels, they gain a unit, and you want to get a certain amount of units that will push you to your target. Lexia maps out how many units you need, so the student is 159 units from their target. Um, I would take this number and divide it by how many weeks of school are left and give that student a unit goal that they're going to um, meet each week to work on. We'll go back to our original dashboard and we'll look at some of the other things that you see here. Um, students who pop up on this area are students over here who um, have been struggling with a level. So what you'd want to do here is you would look at how many students are struggling with which levels. So this is a big group of students. You could pull all three of them at the same time and deliver the same level to them on multi-syllable words. Um, you can also go down and click on your usage report right here. And you can see what students are working on the same level at the same time. This is one way that it's really nice to use Lexia for, um, to group students. So when I'm making my small groups of what I'm going to be teaching, I can look at what students are kind of in the same level and give them either a precursor to like what they'll maybe be seeing in Lexia to help them get through that, or if they're struggling, um, group those students together so that you can model for them what the skill is that they're going to be seeing on Lexia. So, you can see here from the students who are on the lower levels all the way up to your highest. Um, usually Lexia is a pretty good performance predictor in general, so I often check this data as well to make my groups for things that might not be in regards to something specifically being taught in Lexia, just in general in reading. And if we go back to our main dashboard, um, there's one more area that I look at every day when I'm planning is down here is the um, minutes that they're prescribed per week. So students who have met their end of the year target in our ring will usually not have any minutes prescribed and they don't have to go on Lexia. Um, you can look here at the target and see how many students, how many minutes certain students need. So because we're at the end of the year, every student who's not at their target right now is going to have 60 units. At the beginning of the year, kids who are close, who test closer to their target on the original screener um, might only have 20 units a week. So you can give your, I like to give my students a unit goal as well as a minute goal to help them be successful to get to that green by the end of the year. That's all. Thank you.